Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today, uh, we got a new cigar I just received today, still in wrap. Um, I'm gonna take a look at this today. This is the Diesel Whiskey Roll Founders Edition Mizunara. All right. So uh, let me uh, open this up and we'll talk about this, okay? So. Obviously, I didn't know the cigar was coming out. And then I saw one of Cigars Daily Tim Swanson's video making fun of Mitsunara. You know, something like that. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Mitsunara? Mitsunara? Okay, I had to get that. Because Mitsunara is, um, is a Japanese oak. So if you like Japanese whiskey, you like Japanese high-end furniture, you like Mitsunara. There you go. So if you look at majority of Japanese style or scotch and stuff, they like to use Mitsunara oak. Huh. And if this thing says Mitsunara, it better taste like Mitsunara oak. Or else. Or else, okay? Alright. Of course, I always receive a damage box, but there we go. Very nice. And how do I open this thing? Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Very nice. Very nice. I like that. I like that. It's like a cabinet style open. Nice. Obviously, it doesn't hold any humidity whatsoever. But good enough. Good enough. All right, so let's take a good look on this particular cigar. Okay, so these are Whiskey Roll Founders Collection. Mizurara 6x52 Toro. MSRP is about $15.99 in a box of 10. Has a Brazilian Mata Fina wrapper, Connecticut Broadleaf Binder, and fillers Nicaraguan from Esteli. And obviously it was aged in a Mizunara oak barrel they say that was from their personal collection that had like a 15 year bourbon in there but i don't know i don't know how much that's true how much whatever but they say that sitting there for 11 months it could be a good cigar the problem is this thing looks like there is a lot of glue at the end a lot of glue on the on the wrapper so we'll see we'll see how that came off at the end all right so let's get started First, we have this foot band. And take off this foot band. E. This is a lot of. This is a lot of glue on this thing. I don't know how much glue they use, but it's impossible to remove. I, I'm, I'm trying my best to remove this in one piece because I think the glue. Oh my god. Alright. There's no way. Alright. Uh, come on. Why do you use so much glue? Eh. Okay, that's the best I can do. Holy shit. 
All right. There we go. Diesel Whisker Roll Founders Collection Mizunara. Uh, the top says rabbit hole. The bottom has a rabbit. Okay. Definitely smell like Nicaraguan more than Brazilian Matafina. Because Brazilian Matafina has that floral um, like stink, but I don't smell it right now. I can definitely smell that the bra leaf and Nicaraguan combo, that smell. The cocoa-y damp wood smell. I can definitely smell that. We'll see. Ooh, that pepper. All right. Let's try this. Draw is okay. Cocoa and leather. A little bit of woodsiness. I'm not really tasting the, the oak. Now, if you don't know how Mizunara oak is like, it's a little bit like woodsy and spicy kind of note. Let's get to it. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll taste that. Mm. All right, I definitely taste a little bit of that barrel taste. In a really weird way. Oh, it's definitely there, but it's like, um, that's a weird combo. It's in there. But you can definitely taste that. To me, it's a little bit earthy, very minor amount of cocoa. You get a little bit of that barrel taste and woodsy and spice and peppery. It has a little bit of bitterness to it. It has a little bit of a weird woodsy floralness to it. I think it needs a little bit, like I probably had to smoke a little bit before it gets to a point where it's nicely together. Okay. All right, we'll smoke one third. We'll be right back. Mm. Okay, one third. Burns a little bit funny, but that's okay. Um, The cigar is woodsy. It's got... Barrel taste comes in in and out, okay? It's not the whole time. Sometimes it jumps in and jumps in the, like the weirdest spot. Um, you're gonna get that Nicaraguan dark note, but not very prominent. And obviously you gotta get the Brazilian Matafina dankiness, that like really stinky perfume floral. You gotta get that. Uh, you got a little bit tingly sensation of like spice. It works in a really weird way. You gotta really like like a woodsy floral note to like the cigar. It's weird. It's something different. The note jumps in in a really weird way. I don't know if it's because it's not arranged well or what. It's just really weird. Uh, so right now the strain is about medium. And I'm thinking to get myself a small cup of bourbon. Well, not bourbon. Um, 
Japanese Mitsurada uh, scotch or some sort to try it out because maybe that's supposed to balance and meant to go with that. If you don't, like whenever you taste that flavor, you know you taste it, but it's weird. It's like, is that supposed to be there? You know it's supposed to be there, but you're like, is that supposed to be there? And it's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's not bad, but it's not good. Um, I have to pair it correctly to see if that is good. So let me um, go into second, third, find myself a Mitsunara of some sort, and we'll go from there. So I did get a little bit of Yoichi, which is um, also aged in Mitsunara. It's actually half and half. It's aged in another barrel, like American oak barrel, and then it's, made, uh, then it's aged in the Mitsunara oak. And the reason of being that is uh, Mitsunara oak aged stuff, even though Mitsunara smells one way, it tastes sweet. It tastes like vanilla. So um, it's kind of not like this. It's kind of weird floral thing, but I don't know how to describe it. Go find yourself a Mitsunara oak and, and lick it and then drink a Mitsunara oak whiskey. You know what I'm talking about. It's usually when I taste Mitsunara oak uh, whiskey or scotch, um, they are sweet and just a little bit with spice. All right, anyways, let me let me let me try this pair. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. If I paired it with the with the scotch, Japanese scotch, it brings out so much more vanilla note, so much more woodsy note, a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of spice, and sweet. And sweet, it makes me salivate. And that weird taste now is not weird anymore. It's just floral. It, it's a hundred percent just nice flowery sweetness that Nicaraguan dankiness is so much at the background that you know it's there but like you know the forefront is just sweet floral night oh my god Okay. This pairing <laughs> is amazing. What? Okay. All right. I think I, because it's pairing, I I need to put this away and give it more of an actual review because um, if I do this review, this this cigar is. But. Yeah, once that taste went away, that dinkiness comes back. Get a small sip. Oh my god. Wow. What a difference. What? Okay. Without the whiskey, right now it's pretty much second third. So, without the whiskey, it tastes pretty much the same as first third, medium strength, and that is more of a prominent that Matafina perfumey old taste 
plus a little bit of that Nicaraguan dinkiness and cocoa. Okay. If you had a whiskey to go with it, vanilla, flour, spicy, saltiness, woodsy, balance, and then you get that little bit of that Nicaraguan dinkiness in the background. Holy cow. All right. I'm going to have a hard time rating the cigar now. Um, I'm going to give you a price without whiskey. Price with whiskey. Oh, my God. All right. That's second, third. Be right back. I'll give you the last third. We, we will go to... Oh, my God. We will go to... Um, yeah, I can't even have words. Summary. Be right back. Okay, so we're done. Last third, if you just smoke it on its own, yeah, you get that pleasant, floral, a uh, little bit cooling effect, uh, a little bit of um, earthiness, just a little bit, and you get that, you know, the combination that you're pretty much looking for, matafina and, uh, uh, and broadleaf combination. So it's a little bit leathery, a little bit spicy, uh, a little bit floral, a little bit earthy. Dries your mouth a little bit, pretty much. Okay, now, with that being said, with the drink, sweet, floral, a little bit of Nicaraguan dankiness, uh, and uh, uh, woodsy, vanilla, a little bit of saltiness. Everything that's good about the whiskey literally pulls the flavor out of the cigar. Now, what I mean by that, after you take the whiskey, you got to taste the whiskey, obviously. But once the whiskey kind of dies out a little bit, that first two puff, flavorful. So much flavor. It's so good. So with that being said, cigar on its own. With medium, medium plus strength. 1050. 1050. All right, 1050. If you had a Mizrana, Mizrana whiskey at home and you're planning to pair it, 20. 20. All right. If you're planning to do the pairing, expect the cigar to give you like $20 worth of enjoyment. It's great. Every sip, every, oh my God. So good. So good. All right. So if you're planning to pair it, you got to get like $20. This cigar is like $20 cigar. It's great. It's awesome. Without it, uh, $10.50. You get the smoke, you get that. Floral, you get that little bit of dankiness. It's not very strong. It's about medium body as well, if not lower. Um, it really needs something to help it pull that flavor out. I don't know how it would taste like with the regular bourbon, but with Mitsunada uh, scotch, Japanese scotch, it really does. It really is perfect pairing. However, they did it. They were made to do that. If you don't have it, then it diminish the flavor by, you know, largely, largely diminished but with it enhanced by a lot like i've smoked out a cigar with whiskey it doesn't do that but this poof, so much better so much better so much better so i'll recommend it if you have it if you don't um there are some american whiskey that has mitsunara it literally say on the label mitsunara and there uh if you're looking at a japanese whiskey you want to look at something that's more than 10 years old age statement. What happened is because Japanese whiskey tend to use the first five years use American barrel. And after that, the next five years they use Mitsunara. All right. And, and that's how Japanese whiskey can get pricey. 150 to two, three, four. Those are usually the price range. Okay. All right. So that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, and now, hopefully you learned something about Mitsunara. I didn't talk a lot about Mitsunara, but, you know, it's expensive. Just, just think about it. It's expensive. Okay? And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.